Wow, Nuri, you're so early. Of course, teacher, I tried. <laughs> uh -huh. Yesterday, I couldn't join, teacher, sorry. Uh, it's okay, it's okay. Um, But today, everything is okay? Yes, it is, yes. Uh, how was your day today? Uh, um, pretty busy, teacher. Pretty good. Pretty good, yes. <laughs> Tell me, what did you do? Oh, a lot of a lot of things. <laughs> it was a heavy day. Mm -hmm. Yes, and when I and, and when I come here, I have to uh, make the dinner, prepare the dinner, and, and and make another things here at home. You are married. Are are you married, Nuri? Yes, teacher, I am. Okay, okay. Yes, it's always more more activities when you're married, right? <laughs> Double, teacher. Double. It's a lot. It's a lot of activities. Yes, because here I, I always have to do uh, some things. Uh, you always uh, have to Okay. Sample, Nuri? Um, besides the activities at work and others, uh, what is what do you like to do in your house? Is there anything in your house that you say, ah, I like, I like to cook or I like doing this? Mm, I like to do everything, teacher. Really? Uh, yeah. Mm, maybe uh, iron, iron clothes. Ironing. Uh-huh. Ironing clothes. That one, no. No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so I have a, a person that they come here to help me. Ah, okay. Yes. Good because me too. I don't I to be honest, I I most of the things I, I don't like to do in the house. I don't like the ironing. I don't like I like cooking. I enjoy cooking. Um I don't like I and I, I don't mind doing the bed or washing the clothes. That mm -hmm. I for me, it's okay washing the clothes, hanging them up. But the, mm -hmm. the for example, cleaning the refrigerator, I don't like. <laughs> I don't like those. <laughs> yes, I like because mm -hmm. when it's when it's cleaning, I like to see. Oh my god, I like it. <laughs> yes, I like to see it clean, but yeah. I don't like to do the work. Yeah, yeah. And are you married, teacher? Yes, almost ah. 20 years. Ah. Almost 20 years married. Next oh. in, in a few months. In a few months, 20 years. Great. Mm -hmm. and, and you're gonna uh, to have a celebration? For 20 years, no. We are waiting for more, but for just mm -hmm. for 25. We are we are planning yeah. for our 25. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. Yes. It's a long Good. time. It's a long time, Nuri. Oh, yes, it's a long time. And you how long have you been married, Nuri? Uh, mm, 17. 17 is a long time too, Nuri. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 17. It's my, it's my second uh, marriage. Ah, uh, you were married before? Yes, when I was 21. Uh, how long were you married? <laughs> Only two years. Ah, but that's super work. fast. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't work. It's okay. Mm -hmm. That's, it's important. It, it's better you learn when you are young. No, no, doesn't work. Change, mm -hmm. no problem. The next. <laughs> next. <laughs> yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. Yes. In my case, no, we, it's been a long, long time now. We already, we imagine it's, it's, it's a lot. I feel the same for you. 17 years, you already have a routine. For example, me. I am responsible to go to the supermarket. I am responsible to go to the market. Is my responsibility take out the garbage? Is my we already have you already are organized. You know who does what. You don't have to speak. You don't have to say ah toca la plancha toca no. You already know. Mm -hmm. You already know. Yes. But I think right. But in the beginning, for me, it was very difficult in the beginning organize. 
Uh, mm -hmm. What do you do? What do I do? What uh, What do we do together? What uh, this 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 was difficult. Yes, and I think if, if we uh, don't say don't, don't say nothing, mm -hmm. uh, you you don't do you don't do nothing. <laughs> that too. That I mean, too. Mm -hmm. In my case, my husband is the is is chef, and he likes he likes cooking. Oh, that's delicious! Delicious. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Because not, not everyone likes to cook. Some people they don't like to cook. Ah, so, uh, este, yes, most of uh, the men don't like. Really? Yes. I don't know why, but most men, very, most Salvadorian men, most Salvadorian mm -hmm. men, they don't like to cook, but I don't know why. Mm -hmm. but, but most of my friends, they like to cook. They like, mm -hmm. but they don't like to cook typical food. That's the problem. Because uh -huh. is that the typical food is the food you have to cook every day, the daily food. They like mm -hmm. to cook special food, barbecue, eh, yeah. chicken. They, they, they like to make the, but not every day. So like, like, like my husband, because mm -hmm. his chef, he has uh, another flavor, flavor, uh -huh. Uh -huh, a special flavor. A special, exactly. It's not, yeah. it's not the, the typical, right? Yes, it is. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Well, I see we have uh, Mirna, Luis, Roxana. Uh, I imagine not everybody is going to connect. One is Friday. I, I understand that many people say, I know, Friday is, uh, uh -huh. it's okay. And the other is because we finish next week, but mainly because it's Friday. <laughs> many people, they say, hey, for one day, no problem. But hopefully we'll get more people connected in a moment. Today, we're going to be looking at our topic of writing. Yesterday, we finished off the review of the previous topic. Today, we're gonna to start off with our writing section. This is section four. This is the final part of the test where we're going to look at it and what it involves and what you have to do, okay? So first, let's watch some small videos to get information about the writing sections. We'll now go over the last section of this course one, the writing section. Here we'll study challenges of writing, about the writing section, a type of question, writing practice. So, section. we have four main topics, the challenges, um, how the section is graded or divided, the type of questions you are required to answer, and how to practice and improve your writing skills. These are some of the things that we're going to see in the next couple of days. Here, we'll start off with our next idea. The first one is the challenges of writing. To overcome the challenge of writing, you need to practice writing essays, organizing your ideas, and increasing your skills in using sentence structures and vocabulary. Okay, so one thing that she said that's important is practice essay, not practice sentences. Most of the time we have practice in school making a sentence. Is this sentence correct? Is this sentence correct? But the challenge in writing exam is that is not sentences, is paragraph. You have to have everything together, like in Spanish, just like in the language class. It has to be a good essay. The writing section of the TOEFL test measures your ability to write standard academic English. There are two tasks of writing on the TOEFL test, one integrated and one independent. Okay, and we're going to learn a little bit about what that means. What does integrated mean and what does independent mean? And then we're going to see how we're going to have some of those questions. Here, the first one that we're going to see is the integrated questions. Okay. Let's watch the video so we have a better understanding of what to do with integrated questions. We will now go over the last section of the TOEFL preparation course one, the writing section, integrated writing. Question one, integrated writing, read, listen, explain. 
For the integrated writing, you will read and listen to a lecture. The reading and the lecture will be on academic subject in one of the following areas. Life science. Any of several branches of science, such as biology, medicine, anthropology, or ecology, that deal with living organisms and their organizations, life processes and relationships to each other and their environment. Social science, the study of human society and of individual relationships in and to society, including sociology, psychology, anthropology, economics, political science, and history. Physical science, any of the sciences such as physics, chemistry, astronomy, and geology that analyze the nature and properties of energy and non-living matter. Humanities, branches of knowledge that investigate human beings, their culture, and their self-expression, including the study of languages and literatures, the arts, history, and philosophy. Okay, so this is important because as you can see, the integrated is just the function of the TOEFL. The TOEFL is academic. So it is an academic exam. You're going to have academic writing. You're going to have to discuss life sciences, social sciences, physical science, or humanities. What is the difference? The integrated portion is that you are going to listen to a lecture. You're going to hear somebody speaking. You're going to hear a speech or a conversation. And then based on this, you will have a question. And on the question that with the information from the listening, that's where you're going to have to do it. That's why it's a little bit integrated. That's why that one is necessary to have good listening skills, reading, and then also writing to make sure everything is included. Okay. To begin with, your focus should be on summarizing the main points of the lecture. Do not take notes in full sentence form. Use points. Expect a structure. The main point will come first, followed by explanations, examples, and reasons. Put things in your own words. Avoid the trap of copying down exact phrases. Make sure you have covered the five W's and how. Do you know who, what, when, where, why, and how? You must mention a specific details in your answer. Your okay, so if you want to take notes, take a screenshot, make sure you have it you need to cover WH information. You need to answer questions without them asking you. You need to explain who it affects, what you are talking about, when it's necessary or where or why or any of the several different words, but you need to make sure that you have that. When you're listening to the conversation, when you're listening to the lecture, don't write full sentences, only have ideas, uh, specific data or information so that you can make a good writing exercise. So if they're talking about, you know, a, a biological science and they mention the Amazonian rainforest and the cycle of flowers, take notes, write it down, but don't copy the entire sentence because you don't have time to go quickly and then you'll lose focus on the rest of the things, okay? The other is here. This is very common for Spanish speakers. You have to put in your own words. You cannot copy exactly what they say and repeat exactly what they said in the lecture. You need to explain it in your own form, with your own way. That part is very important because many times we want to answer the way that we are asked. Okay. You know, what happened in the lecture? And then the, you have to give your own ideas. Okay. It's like a resume, teacher. Yes. Many times it's like the, the summary, exactly. Summary. Okay. Mm -hmm. Next task is to show how the lecture challenges or supports the reading. Begin by typing out an outline so your essay has a clear, coherent structure. You can fill it in and delete as you write. Choose your words carefully so that you are answering the exact question that is asked. Just writing generally about the subject will not get you high marks. So listen, one more time. That part is important because many people only give general ideas, but listen. You can fill it in and delete as you write. Choose your words carefully so that you are answering the exact question that is asked. Just writing generally about the subject will not get you high marks. So you have to be specific. You have to use good vocabulary. 
not only try to have simple vocabulary or or you you don't know the topic so you don't explain no you have to try to give as much details and as much uh, technical information as possible here are some key phrases you can use in your essay challenges the reading contest dispute query question dubbed mistrust object object to protest oppose resist defy face supports the reading advocate back champion confirm bear out corroborate substantiate validate verify vindicate help boost support use verbs to indicate that you are summarizing suggest say report tell argue question ask conclude okay so why do they give you this vocabulary the idea is so that you understand when you hear oh why does the and then you'll hear for example why does the student dispute what the professor is saying ah that means is when you hear that that means they're asking you to explain the reason against it why do they contest why do they defy or oppose uh, building a new uh, a new hospital near the center of town those are the words that are going to be key phrases for you to be able to understand that they want you to have explained the why they are against that. If you hear the other words, then you have to explain why do they support those different things. OK, so why does the government corroborate with Bitcoin in other industries? OK, why do they support those different issues? OK, so try to use different vocabulary, but more important, understand the vocabulary so that when you hear it or it's in the question you know what to do any questions for this part or of the words or what they mean yes teacher this are are argue what? argue argue mm -hmm. argue means that you are against it okay so um or would you are, when you argue with your mom, is your mom has one opinion, you have another. When you say in my, when you are describing or summarizing and you can give your opinion and say, um, I would argue that giving money to children is a bad idea. This is a way to say, I would say, I would suggest, I would, and this is, I would explain in my own words. This is the opinions. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Okay. And the other ones are okay. They're out, teacher. What does that mean? They're uh, out. Which one? They're out. Okay. And support that. Let me, go, let me go back. Let me go back. No problem. No problem. So we can have. They're out. Right here. Bear yes. out. So these are the ones that support. These are with. They don't go against but they are part of. Mm -hmm. So like the other words, they're similar. Uh, for example, bear out, what is the, the result? Mm -hmm. Kind of like the result of the situation. How does that help? Both. Similar to help, how does, uh, how does this bear out? How does this help? Or how does this support? Is that okay? Mm -hmm. And boost, 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 boost is how does it increase? How does it make better? This is boost. Okay, thank mm -hmm. you. Ooh. Okay, the other ones are okay. Yes, did you? Okay, good. Okay, good. So now we have a little bit of idea of how is the reading in the integrated questions. <clears throat> Let's take a look at an integrated writing task. Okay. Remember, integrated is we're going to listen or read or both, well, actually both of them for it. Okay. In this case, let's have, um, let's see. Roxana, can you please read the instructions? 
Peter. Integrating writing tasks. Read the following passage. Next, you listen to an, an audio clip uh, of a professor giving a lecture on the same topic or as that of the passage. Finally, you'll have 20 minutes to plan and compose a short essay of about 150 and 225 words. This essay must summarize the points made in the lecture and explain how they support or challenge what's writing in the passage. You will not write about your own opinion for this task. At the end, you will send your essay to your teacher so he, she checks, checks it and grades your essay. Mm. Now, here's where I want to be clear. Imagine how much time you have. You have 20, 20 minutes. But why 20, 20 minutes for 150 words? It's a long time. But why? Because you must summarize the points from the lecture and explain how they support or challenge. That means you don't know what happens in the listening, but how this information from here is being supported or challenged according to what they say. Here's the important part. Look, in yeah. this writing, your opinion is not important and is not included. You cannot say, I think, I believe, I feel. No, these are bad. You lose points. Nuri says, I think, I agree. I don't ask. I didn't ask your opinion. Mm -hmm. I ask facts. They ask information, data, and you have to be very clear. That's why the academic writing is more difficult because we in Spanish is normal. Give our I, uh, give our opinion, give our suggestions. Here, no. Here, you have to answer specifically what they say. Is that all right? Yes, but a, a specific, a specific, but using that exactly the word or the paragraph. Exactly, words or or words related to that topic. Okay, that is the that is the part where you need to expand your vocabulary. Here, okay. okay. Let's take a look and read the passage together. Um, Alex, can you see? Yes. I make it a little bit bigger if you want. Okay. Uh, Alex, yes. can you please read the, the first paragraph? Yes, the first paragraph. Okay. Yes, please. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, investigation made at the laboratories in the various parts of the world indicate that I, apes are capable, capable of understanding language and using linguistic responses at the level of your children. Just because these animals don't know how the physical apparatus for producing the speech, we should not assume that they cannot understand and learn language. According to researchers who have worked closely with apples, apples wait, when these animals are giving what it means that communicate, they do indeed show sophisticated communicative abilities. These researchers provide evidence of gorillas using signs to show humor, to answer, to written, to produce metaphorical language, and to engage in fantasy play. Okay, thank you very much. Now, when you are reading, don't worry. In this task, is not the pronunciation. It's not about the pronunciation. It's about the comprehension. But because if it's art class, I want to make sure you pronounce correctly, Alex. But in the exam, don't worry if you don't pronounce correctly. The idea is for understand. But here, the pronunciation of some of the words, linguistic, okay, linguistic, linguistic. apes, apes. Okay. Mm -hmm. apes. Okay. There you go. Good. Most of the words you said correctly. It's just making sure that we understand. What are apes? Alex, what do you understand are apes? Uh, apes is a, a simios. Correct. That's correct. Yeah, I, I remember the movie. <laughs> in, in imagine the tofu ah, from the movie. He he yeah. has the tofu for the movie. There you go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Excellent. Thank you very much. Now we have a few more paragraphs. Uh, yes. Nuri, can you please read Coco? And Mirna, can you please read Washo? Okay. Coco, a lowland gorilla seemed to have understood a poem written about him. 
test of Coco auditory comprehension showed that she was able to distinguish between words such as funny, money, and bunny. Similar claims have been made for Michael, a male companion of Coco, who also learned to discriminate between many sounds. Thank you. And Mirna? Wachu. Wachu and Odol chimpanzee race, and if she were a deep guy, was able to translate words she heard into American Sign Language. Another study mm -hmm. consisted of teaching a chimpanzee name, Kansi. How to communicate using a keyboard of symbols? This study compared the series of states that a human child does so with those of Kansi. Kansi moves through this space and much the same way as children, up to a particular stage of development, and in fact, it's better than a young child on a test that measures only the ability to complete and given the quest. Thank you, Mirna. Thank you. So as you can see, this is the type of reading that you will get. It will be academic. It will be academic in one of the four areas, social sciences, uh, the biology, physics. One of these areas is going to be, you will read it and then we will have a listening. Now, why do I mention this? Today we are going slowly, but why is this important? Because for everything you need to watch your time, Imagine how much time only in the reading. And if you are reading and reading and trying to go back, <gasps> no, you have a time limit. Remember that always, always you are against the time. That is the biggest factor. Now let's listen and then remember what we need to read. Okay. Now listen to part of a lecture on the topic you just read about. Being able to communicate using language is one of our human species' most important abilities. Some scientists claim that apes, like humans, also use languages. There are many studies into ape acquisition of language, some famous. Okay. Hmm. I see you listening, but I don't see you following the instructions. Tomen apuntes. Va a ser cinco, seis, siete minutos. You're not going yeah. to remember. Ah, uh -huh, uh -huh. Roxana, show me the paper, Roxana. Show me the paper. Mm, ni tenemos. Mm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh -huh, Marvin, show me the paper, Marvin. Show me the paper. Mm -hmm. Espérame un momento, Ticha. Es que el que cuaderno es que se me mojó y, y es uno nuevo. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Remember, uh huh, uh huh. He say uh, uno nuevo. Okay, all right, no problem. Good job. So remember, it's important because you will only have time to listen once, and you need to comprehend, take notes. You have to learn what is important, what is not important. You have to learn how to identify important data and not because you need the notes to describe. Remember, it's not your opinion. It's what they say in the lecture compared to what you read. This is the data that you need to include. Let's start one more time. Now listen to part of a lecture on the topic you just read about. Being able to communicate using language is one of our human species' most important abilities. Some scientists claim that apes, like humans, also use languages. There are many studies into ape acquisition of language, some famous, such as the Coco studies. But are these animals really acquiring language? We really haven't done enough research to address the question of how and when humans started using language, but we can compare human and ape communicative abilities to determine whether the claims about ape language are valid. First, 
For behavior to be called language, it must be communicative. In other words, the signers must be able to use language creatively. They should be able to take turns in conversation, must sign spontaneously rather than as a response to drilling or coercion, and must be able to comment on interesting phenomena. If you think about what the apes have accomplished in communicating, these criteria have not been met. However, according to the proponents of ape communication, the animals do meet these criteria. They maintain that those of us who question the validity of this research have never worked with apes. However, we wonder how much influence their probable emotional attachment to an animal has on the conclusions they reach. Is there a solution in sight that would put an end to this controversy? Yes, there might be. Studies are being undertaken at the neurophysiological level. Through the use of modern brain scanning techniques, such as MRI, we may be able to get a better picture of the brain activity of a healthy human during communication and an ape while supposedly communicating. A comparison of these scans should give us an insight into whether apes really do communicate. Summarize the points made in the lecture you just heard, explaining how they cast doubt on the points made in the reading. Mm. What are you supposed to do when you hear that beep, beep? You have 20 minutes to do everything. So what are you supposed to do? Let's see if we understand what is the question, because this is the number one. If you don't understand clearly the question, you write and you write incorrectly. I see we have Kalena. So Kalena connected late. Ah, but uh -huh. Kalena, you have three computers today. Okay, Kalena. Kalena today, Instagram model. Everybody, please look. All right, Kalena, tell us. What is the activity we have to do? What happened to my Instagram model? Now it's normal student. Mm -hmm. Teacher, I'm so sorry. I, I just get in in the class because oh, I have- You, you didn't listen to all the activity, Kalena. I, I didn't listen uh, just the- Just the, the audio. The audio, but, but, but I'm not, trying to connect- uh, Okay, uh, okay. No problem, Kalena, no problem. Um, Thank you. Thank you for joining. I know that you connected a little bit late, but thank you for joining. Maybe, uh, let's see, maybe Marvin, Marvin can help us. Marvin, what is the question? What do we have to do in this moment? Uh, I get that we have to compare the lecture and uh, um, the listening to explain uh, which is the Different that it's supporting the the lecture against the the listening. Okay. Now here is the important from at the beginning of the class the vocabulary that we heard. Listen to the question. Identify the verbs that way you know exactly what they're asking you. Let me play one more time, so that we can have only the last part, not all the audio. Only the last part. I'm going to share with you, so that it's clear the question. Maybe it didn't play the last part. Let me try reloading it. Let's see. Now listen to part of a lecture on the topic you just read about. Supposedly communicating. A comparison of these scans should give us an insight into whether apes really do communicate. Summarize the points made in the lecture you just heard. This is the first activity. The first paragraph, the first paragraph of your writing is this, summarize the points. Explaining how they cast doubt on the points made in the reading. How they cast doubts is how they are opposite the reading. Summarize and explain how the lecture is not the same as the reading and it is the opposite or it doesn't agree with the reading. 
Okay. But you see, know your opinion. No, do you think animals communicate? Do you think animals don't communicate? Don't, no, you use the data from there. You use the names from the reading. You use the names from the lecture. Coco, the chimpanzees, this, not your personal opinion. Mm -hmm. It's okay? Okay. Okay. Uh, Kalena, I know you came in a little bit late. If you need time to read, you can read the it is in the writing task. The integrated writing task is the reading that you need to compare. And then you have to write 150 to 225 words response. Okay. For this today, for our task for today, we are going to work with our partners. And with our partners, we want to make sure that we are organizing with our partners, looking for vocabulary, helping us. Now, we are going to still focus on the time because the time is not going to change. The question can change, the topic can change, the vocabulary can change, but the time is not going to change. The time always is, has to be complete. To make it easier for you, we're going to have 18 minutes. That way, always, always in your mind, you are finished before the limit. You are finished before the limit, and then you can read, you can check, you can change. That way, you don't have to wait and say, I know the last, and it's incomplete. It's always better with less, a little bit less time so that you can check. So right now we're going to go with our partners and we're going to do the writing task. Yes, okay. writing, don't worry. You don't have to write it in the computer. You can write it in paper because we're going to read it to each other. So don't worry, you can write it in paper. Um, <laughs> it doesn't have to be on the computer. I recommend that later or in the others, you begin to practice on the computer because your answer is going to be on the computer. Your answer is not going to be writing. And if you write quickly like this, but you are like people, is going to be a problem. If you have the opportunity oh, in this moment, write it on the computer. But if not, it's okay. But remember, in the exam, you is obligation on the computer. Okay. All right. So right now we're gonna have three groups, and the three groups. Hang on. Let's. We're going to have. 18 minutes for our three groups to work together and complete the task. No personal opinions. Remember.
So who's going to read theirs first? It's okay, don't worry. <laughs> That's why we practice, it's okay. okay. We read it, go ahead. Okay, uh, Nuri and, and, and Roxana and me, we, we discuss about, about the, the, the question because I really, I have a doubt, but I write uh, about the, for example, the at the end, uh, the topic is about the eight are capable of understanding the language. Uh, is just because these animals don't have a physical app apparatus, and explain about, for example, the the gorillas no, no, no. use. Alex, don't explain. Only read because the person that is going to evaluate you is only going to have the reading. No, they're not going to listen to you. So only read what you wrote. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Coco, co 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 uh, Gorilla Coco, to have a under okay. understood point about Alex, her. Is this the beginning? Is this the first paragraph, Coco? No, no. My okay. my first paragraph. Yes. Paragraph, okay. The first paragraph I write is 
apes are capable of understanding language just because these animals don't have the physical apparatus. And then I jump with uh, gorillas use the sign to show humor, to insult, to treat them. And uh, for example, Gorilla Coco to have under, understood point about her. Uh, uh, I, I write, I wrote like a Coco's study how and when I started study, I started the communication with, with apes. And, and at the end, how many influence we have in animals using the motor scanning to compare the brain human with the uh, apes, brain apes. <laughs> Just that. No, no, no. Don't worry, Alex. Don't worry. Excellent job. Excellent job. Is good. Now, here's the issue, Alex. The idea is compare the speech with the reading. And the, in the speech, the person says, no, the apes do not communicate. But in your writing, you didn't say this. Only you explain the reading. You need to have the two topics and not your point of view, but why? So, for example, according to the lecture, Apes cannot communicate, although many people feel that they do, especially the people that work with apes, such as the person who worked with Coco, a study that demonstrated that the animal, for example, something like this, it could be different, yes, yes. But, but the idea is that you need to explain not one point of view. The task was explain the two points of view and the difference. Okay. We do the next time we do better. No problem. Okay. Next time we do better. Good job. Thank you, Alex. Okay. All right. Who's next? Who's next? Si no les voy a dar regañada, it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Alex, me los asustaste. Hey, what happened? What happened? <laughs> Before Alex chose me. <laughs> okay. Language between animals and humans. Investigation made comparison between the humans with animals like chimpanzees, apes, and gorillas. Uh, both have ability to communicate and comprehend. They have easy comprehension to understand the, to a human using symbols and other hand. It is interesting this is research about how to communicate with animals. Okay, Mirna, pretty good. I like that you put the two aspects. I like that you mentioned it. Very nice. Now, Mirna, what you need to do is try with your vocabulary, use words that connect. While, according to, uh, although, on the other hand, this is that way you can use when it's contrasting ideas and when it's the ideas together. But this is good. This is this is good. This is how we start developing better. Thank you, Mirna. Okay. All right. Who's next? Who's next? <laughs> Kalena. All right. Go for it. <laughs> <laughs> I I had to be true, true with you, and I just got um just como. Uh, ideas. So uh, right now I'm trying to to do the. So <laughs> okay, Kalena. No I'm going problem. to read. It, read it. Only okay. read it. Don't worry. Only read it. Don't explain. In this article, it explains the abilities that animals have to communicate with humans. Uh, they talk about our research. Uh, talk about Cassie, a chimpanzee, uh, that she can translate into American signs. One, one case of a gorilla can discriminate sounds, uh, linguistic, and understanding a, a language. Love Thank you. you, Kalena. Thank you very much. It's okay. It's okay, Kalena, very much. Very nice that you're explaining the article, but remember, Kalena, you have to have the contrast from the lecture. 
So right now you are only explaining one part. Yeah. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. You only explain the part of the article, why they communicate, who communicate and how. That's good, but that's not enough for answering the question. What is the difference between the lecture and the reading? And why is the, why is the argument? Oh, uh, maybe I, the, I don't understand the question. Well. No problem. Remember the argument? is that the, the argument is the difference. So communication, what is communication? According to the professor, communication is uh, speaking, interacting, responding. For And then you can explain his point of view is that apes have not reached this, but the workers like Coco and the others, they, and then you can have, but the idea is the two, this is the idea. Okay. okay. Guys, for homework, I, to make sure for homework, yes, write, review, check. It's okay. It, it's okay you take your time. So, se van a echar 40 minutos, it's okay. Pero que lo hagan bien para que vayan pongan, poniéndose un estándar de qué tiene que llegar a, okay? Because okay. we want to create that standard and we want to have it. On Monday, we check and we read together. And Luis okay. is going to be number one porque tiene la mano levantada. All right. Okay. So, <laughs> <laughs> it's okay all right guys thank you so much thank you okay. thank you teacher okay thank see you bye bye see you good night everyone good night, good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. you too have a nice week bye